Hi, it's Paul from TradingTheFifth.com. This is my stock swing trading analysis and learn video for Thursday, the 21st of February. First of all, I wanted to go back through the spreadsheet. I'd like to do this every couple of weeks just to remind you the, the color coding, if you like, what's going off. So on the left hand side of the spreadsheet here, we have our open trades. The ones in gray are the ones that I first mentioned in a video the ones in orange have come through the signal service so during the trading session or just before the trading session i've come across a good potential swing trade and i've put it in there so they stay in orange and then those on white are the ones that just triggered uh, yesterday so they're new uh, the same with the watch list that we've got here blue for the ones i've done on the video orange for the ones that i've sent out on the twitter but have not triggered yet so i'm now going to cover on the video and then a new one on the video today for ngl and then on the closed trades in january you can see here the winners the losers the win rates the average win size and then we've got uh, the day trading there the same with february you see we're at 515 percent profit times risk at the moment yesterday we were taken out of nuan on the stock for minus 100 percent i took profit on amd took that risk off to reclaim some of that 100 if you like and then on the day trades at the moment suffering a little bit still a little bit of profit this uh, this month but we've had a couple of losing days markets have been terrible uh, really for day trading not very trending at all but the swing trades are doing okay so again that's just a reminder on how the spreadsheet works let's get on so and just to remind you amd took out yesterday around about 30 percent profit times risk um been on for quite a long time we tiptoe triggered here uh last few days we have moved up but uh we've got other trades on like apple and everything like that on the shorter time frames just taking a risk off uh, accumulated a bit of profit against that loss and then uan that was the strategy there and again it went out on the twitter so let's look at the current open trades restore those cells so we've got two shorts both got earnings after the bell today uh, we've got to make decisions on these i most likely want to carry pe over very strong bearish trend at the moment the last couple of earnings have made this bearish move continue down i don't see much difference there uh, we've got a negative day yesterday again it depends on the price action could get stopped out today but i i do i do think this is the stronger of the two pe one thing I would suggest though, we've got to look at earnings reactions and what happens. We get quite big rangey days. So I want to go back just to this instance here. Big range in that day, big indecision. That could wipe out any stops. Okay. So my plan uh, before the markets uh, tomorrow, depending on what the, the price action is, I, I'm going to look at just taking the stop off initially let that settle down then put the stop back on again that's my that's what i'm going to do personally it's not advice but they could have a really big range day wipe out stop come back down then continue to go down towards that fifth wave target so pe i at this moment in time i'm looking to carry but flr i am not this has just had some great news with being awarded some contracts so this this sort of way the fifth wave move could not be on and we could get a bit of more of a pullback last two days we've had a bullish move here because of this news being awarded contracts so you know we got that indecision down here and then we've pulled back up since then now it could get down on earnings and go down but i don't want to take the risk on both so i want to be looking to take a loss on this today uh, wherever it is uh, see what the price action is and getting out there so keep an eye on that twitter feed for me to take that off because i don't want to take the risk on both and i think pe has got a better probability of continuing on that bearish trend rather than flr could be wrong but that's my thoughts going into today's session so uh rest of the current open trades five had a good day yesterday remember we discussed yesterday about this red uh, high volume rejection of those lows we did gap up yesterday but we just didn't have the juice to push out of this range it seems to be forming at the moment a little bit of a profit making position but let's see how it goes into next week before we start making a decision on any time stop strategy there mchp a bit of a pullback with increased volume yesterday we could be on for a bit of a wave for pullback here on mchp we've got a great breakout there 
just isn't it's you know we just seem, don't seem to be going anywhere so i'm going to keep an eye on this pullback today see if it runs out of juice i.e volume but again this was a natural reaction to dividends so we cannot read too much on that until we get the continuation the following day and see what happens do we do we find support over the next couple of days and turn back up to the main trend or is this the catalyst for a, a deeper pullback but we will see over the next couple of days rtn on the other hand is just pushing it's going for it uh, we could hit this resistance zone today we got increased volume yesterday with a higher high higher low good solid candle great price action now we could see some resistance into this zone today uh, around the 190 if that happens i'm going to take profit okay remember i'm looking for taking a little bit of a loss on that uh, flr trade so a 160 percent here would be really good um, not going to be too greedy i'm already in this longer term on my investment portfolio this is just a turbo boost in addition to that this swing trade so what i'm looking for is if i see some um some weakness into there into that resistance zone i'm just going to take the profit i don't want to i don't want to weather a pullback on this type of breakout trade it's a great profit one two three four five six days and we're at you know we're 130 percent 125 percent right now if we can tip into 150 160 i'll be very happy to take that profit but watch out on the signal service for when that happens for me okay apple we're on a 60 minute for that one uh, we remember on the daily we got the green candle there so that indicates increased volume to the upside uh, so for the swing trades i can i did carry this over amd i didn't you know, the decision was mine uh, we got a reasonably good day yesterday we did pull back rejected the lows so it does seem we're okay too early uh, in the european morning for me to comment on any pre-market action on apple we are above the close of yesterday on uh nasdaq futures so uh, looking reasonably strong strong rty again pushing us down a little bit at the moment but it looks okay we're looking for more some some more continuation on apple bvn on the daily remember this is our second bite of the cherry on bvn we've already taken profit on this one uh, so we're, we're not going to carry this uh, too long we just wanted to pop out which we did almost touch that fifth wave target yesterday if it has another go at this sort of level today i'm most likely taking it out i don't want to carry this over the weekend i certainly don't want to be carrying it into earnings already taken some profit on this on an earlier swing trade that we've all done and now we've got another chance to to accumulate some more profit for this stock so watch out if it does test there today and i get a decent profit i'm going to take that profit today so watch out on the signal service there tjx is next <clears throat> slow boat to china at the moment we got a slightly higher high higher low yesterday we are dropping off on volume we could get a little pullback here uh, at this moment in time we're early in this in this trade and it's looking okay we're just not no one's really interested in trading this at the moment or, or you know buying some more shares so we've just got to give it a little more time uh, but early days for TJX Microsoft pulled back yesterday did reject those lows I think we've got a 618 retracement there on the day so rejected the lows on higher volume again dividends driven don't overreact let's see what that reaction is today and tomorrow let's see if we can consolidate and push through and have another go of that 108 dollars this is just a natural reaction when dividends are paid out okay costco <clears throat> we've got that indecision doji yesterday we got a lot of uh, a low volume there with that blue candle so we closed lower than the open we did test the entry again yesterday we rejected highs and lows there mainly we had a 618 rejection uh, retracement from those lows roughly uh, low volume seemed to consolidate in that's pushed back up we've got a little time before earnings yet but let's see if we can get back above that 219 fdn another one of those uh, second bites of the cherry um no earnings on this one but we have uh we did get a slightly higher high yesterday 
but lower volume so we're okay early on we've already taken profit on this we're just looking for another move up to 143 at the moment IP good solid day yesterday for me on this one um, another day of increased volume so it's three days with increased volume on every single day did reach for the sky a little bit yesterday and retrace so there's some day traders taking profit so this reaction was the opposite to others in that they, those dividends gave a boost um, so we are you know IP looking reasonably good I know we're trading at this off a of four hour but on the daily looked pretty good closed above that original entry above this resistance level uh, so let's see if that can continue into today's session VLO this was one on the um, signal service uh, we triggered this on, on the four hour so let's maximize this uh, so this was uh, an entry yesterday it went out before the markets opened entry was 85.19 stop loss 83.75 looking for the breakout here uh, it looks good we've had dividends we're moving back up again really good support on the cloud we got the big entry into in the first half of the session and then we just had a bit of a relax but you know it's still in a slight profit making position looks quite strong at this moment in time and then STZ the short that we've been waiting for for a long time finally triggered yesterday with big volume okay this is a big move out of this range now we closed near the low in a slight profit making position let's see if this can continue uh, more lower low lower high with it with more volume today is what we're looking for with this trigger yesterday we also on the multiple time frame dot cloud at the bottom we we went all red since this wave four pullback started we got a slightly new high yesterday but it didn't take the stop out for the order remember the orders above the 177 dollar mark the previous wave four high was 176.46 but because it's such an expensive stock we've got that whole dollar mark that's why i placed the stock for the order over 177 dollars so we didn't take that out and then took us into the trade big candle there lots of volume close near the low very very encouraging f row k so now we are on the orders so let's get through those SXC the first one uh, good day yesterday increased volume we got a we got a green candle rather than a gray candle since we started moving away from here so close near the highs increased volume looking pretty good for our entry at 1046 hopefully we can push through there today uh, next FTNT this was sent out on the signal service very close to trigger yesterday didn't quite get it but 84.32 is the entry, 81.31 is the stop loss. And we've got a, I mean, to be honest, we've got a target up here at $94, but that's way, way too far. All we've got to concentrate on is this $90 target. We've got a good trade on there. This trade for me, I'm already in this as an investment on the weekly time frame. So I'll just show you that. So I'm trading the fifth wave on a weekly time frame on this. Um, with my uh, inner circle here uh, but I, I'm looking at this big resistance level here to either add position or in my case I'm going to do a breakout trade on a different account accumulate some more uh, profit so I'm already confident in this I'm using my uh, multiple time frame strategy that I teach in my uh, elite training course for this so I'm already in this reasonable amount of profit so far longer term swing but I've got a breakout opportunity, so I thought I'd share the breakout opportunity with you guys. Uh, so we've got that potential breakout at 84.32. Okay, another one on the Twitter yesterday was GNTX. We're looking for a potential breakout at 21.03. This is on the 60 minute, so let's move down time frames. Now in this case, we are looking for a wave for failure. So we're looking for a trend failure intraday here. Uh, this line, this uh, contraction you can see here in the blue lines is from the daily time frame. So we've got a got a quite a bit of fresh air here. My wave, my wave four will fail if it goes through this wave one pivot. So this 
intraday bearish trend will be over if it goes through 2191. So I've gone for a little bit more conservative entry at 2103 above that whole dollar mark again. I've gone for a 1997 stop loss, um, you know, below the whole $20 mark, way below all of these, these uh, lows and pivots here. Still gives me a decent risk to reward of one to 1.8 to 23 dollars there so this, i know it's called trade the fifth but sometimes we don't get a fifth wave move and the fourth wave fails i'm gonna you know i'm introducing some of these uh, i have done over the last month or so if we get a wave for failure here this whole bearish trend is over and we're starting on a new bullish trend so let's get in on it let's get in early so 2103 entry 1997 stop for this uh, potential long on gntx and then finally ftn uh, we've done ftnt um, we have ngl sorry uh, on the 60 minute time frame now be aware we've had earnings here we had the big push on the 60 minute time frame 60 degree push really good impulse leg now we've had some profit taking this could come back a little further but you've got to be ready with these 60 minute swings because they can turn really, really quickly. So after this earnings bullish move, we've had some profit taken. We closed at the low yesterday. This $13 mark is a really, really strong support and resistance zone I've taken from the daily. OK, in my free stock signals video today, I did a little bit more analysis on this showing the daily time frame. So if this can hold today, for the first hour bar position, 1360 is our entry. Now, if this does hold and we don't get 1360, second hour bar position, we're talking around about a 1351 entry. So two scenarios here. This hold starts to move up, doesn't take any as in 1360 in the first hour, but with then in the second hour, we can adjust. As long as we're outside that six foot moving average high, excuse me, We've got a potential entry. If we come back further on this wave four, as time moves along, we can adjust entry and stop loss. The only thing we're looking at is that this 535 doesn't break the 140%. So we've got an and or scenario here, but looks pretty good for me for a potential swing trade on a six minute time frame. So initially in that first hour, 1360, uh, entry 1299 stop, target around about 1460. Now, as we go through the session today, look out for the Twitter, the signals, um, and I will adjust as necessary. Okay, so that's it for today. Have a great trading day. Speak to you all tomorrow.